Okay, in this video, we will show how to draw a uh, cooling or heating process on a psychrometric chart for a moist air. And in this process, in this heating or cooling process, we define that the, the, the humidity ratio should be constant. In other words, we, when we cool this moist air, uh, there should be no water con there should be no water vapor condensation from the moist air um, so no water vapor condensation or no addition of water vapor to a moist air system is equivalent to saying constant humidity ratio now let's make sure that uh, we understand constant humidity ratio does not mean constant uh, relative humidity these are absolutely two, absolutely two different things um, constant humidity ratio in general means the relative humidity cannot be constant if the temperature changes. Okay, so uh, a constant uh, uh, humidity ratio process, either cooling or heating, uh, should appear as a horizontal line on the psychrometric chart. This is uh, uh, understandable because uh, uh, we have the uh, humidity ratio um, marked on the vertical ac axis and each horizontal line represents a constant humidity ratio condition so if you have a process that's a constant humidity ratio process then it should appear as a line segment that's parallel uh, or that's horizontal on this psychrometric chart so let's zoom in a bit and you can see uh, this this horizontal line segment uh, goes from uh, goes between 20 degrees Celsius and 40 degrees Celsius dry bulb temperature. The, for this, we can say uh, if this is a if this is a uh, condition one, if this is a condition one, this is condition two. Uh, this will be a a cooling process. So this is a cooling without condensation. Okay, and uh, let's just go to, so this is a 0 0.01 humidity ratio uh, condition. And cooling with no condensation or cooling with constant uh, humidity ratio, you have this process. Now let me ask you another question. Say right now, um, or today, the um, noon, uh, the early afternoon, uh, air condition, uh, weather condition in Doha is that uh, the dry bulb temperature is 40 degrees Celsius and uh, the um, relative humidity is 45%. Um, I ask you to uh, cool uh, such a moist air uh, to 25 degrees without water condensation and draw that process on a on the psychrometric chart okay so let me repeat uh, the the process moist air 40 degrees dry 40 degrees celsius dry bulb temperature 45 percent relative humidity the intention is to draw to 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 cool that uh, uh, moist air uh, without condensation without water condensation to a dry bulb temperature of 25 degrees and when you accomplish that, when you finish that design, draw that process on the psychrometric chart. Okay, I have uh, uh, found this condition. Dry bulb temperature 40 degrees, relative humidity 45% on the psychrometric chart. And uh, I want to cool this moist air uh, without con condensation of water to 25 degrees. So I will draw, I know that uh, a constant uh, a constant humidity ratio, which is the case, a constant humidity ratio process would look like, would appear as a horizontal line segment on the psychrometric chart. So I draw this, draw a horizontal line to the left. Now my intention is to draw this horizontal line so that it crosses 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, I'm getting close, but before I reach 45 25 degrees celsius i reach this um this curved boundary of the psychrometric chart first what's happening what's happening is that uh, it, when i cool this moist air 
uh, that begins at 40 degrees and 45% relative humidity, um, I cool the air to a certain um, temperature that's very, very close to 25 degrees, slightly above 25 degrees, about 26 degrees Celsius. I reach the 100% humidity, relative humidity uh, condition. So this is 100%. This is a 100% relative humidity curve. Okay, uh, when I reach this condition, I can no longer cool the air without causing water condensation. So if I continue to cool the air, water will start to condense. So the only thing uh, I, I can accomplish uh, by cooling the, uh, uh, this moist air down to 25 degrees is I will go, I'll have to go through a process like this. Okay, so this is a, uh, this will be 25 degrees Celsius dry bulb temperature. And um, at a uh, relative humidity of 100%. Okay, so this analysis shows me my intention to dry this moist air 40 degrees, 45% relative humidity to 25 degrees without water condensation. That initial intention was not possible. That, that, that's not uh, realistic. I cannot accomplish it in reality. Um, so what I can do is I, I, I'll have to cool the air uh, while dehumidifying it in order to reach 25 degrees Celsius. And this is often uh, what happens in uh, air conditioning, uh, especially in cooling. So uh, we need to not only cool the moist air, but also we dehumidify the moist air when we refrigerate it. And we'll talk about, uh, talk about this more when we deal with uh, real air conditioning uh, processes.